when we think about taboo topics in the Caribbean region, sex is at the top of that list. Same-sex unions, sex between seniors. How about talking about genitalia and things like circumcision? That has certainly been creating a stir right here in Washington, D.C. for the 19th World AIDS Conference. This procedure reduces the risk of female to male transmission by more than 60 percent and for the rest of the man's life. So the impact can be phenomenal. In Kenya and Tanzania, mothers ask for circumcision campaigns during school vacations so their teenage sons could participate. In Zimbabwe, some male lawmakers wanted to show their constituents how safe and virtually painless the procedure is, so they went to a mobile clinic and got circumcised. That's the kind of leadership we welcome. From scientists to doctors and even tribal leaders are talking about circumcision and the difference it's making in their communities. We happen to speak with one tribal leader who set out on a journey after his 18-year-old son came to him and asked about circumcision. It was like putting my head on the chopping board. I, yeah. I am a custodian of our customs and culture, and clearly this was an invasion of our culture. But realizing that the benefits were more and that if our, the cultures that do male circumcision do it as a rite of passage. But I realized we didn't have to go that far. And so I had to explain to the elders that what we're talking about was now survival, preventing our, our clan and our tribe from being wiped out by uh, this coach of which I dates. So for us, it was now a survival strategy, remaining alive so that we could enjoy the culture that we have. Even though what they're talking about is voluntary male circumcision, it hasn't been without protests. As a matter of fact, a lot of people here in Washington have been protesting against what they're deeming genital mutilation. Meanwhile, a human rights group challenges Global AIDS establishment to tell the truth. Circumcision does not prevent HIV, they say. The group is intact America. They're urging policymakers to halt the male circumcision rollout, calling the plan exorbitant, dangerous and unethical. They say the promotion of male circumcision sends the wrong message, creates a false sense of protection and places women at greater risk of HIV. Experts are adamant this can make a tremendous difference in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Reporting for the Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership on HIV AIDS from the 19th HIV AIDS Conference in Washington, D.C., I'm Tisha Hines for CBC News.